Hello everyone, my name is Eddie from MotionRate.com and today I am going to show you how to use the Project Manager inside Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a very useful tool because it allows you to gather everything that you've used in your cut and archive it or maybe hand it off to a different editor. It all depends what options you choose but it's a very useful tool. So here I am really happy with this edit and I want to archive it now. I am really good to go and I just want to make sure that I am collecting everything into a folder and you know sometimes you import stuff from different folders and or different drives on your computer and sometimes you want to gather everything and put it into a single spot uh, that's a pretty common task for anybody editing anything so let's do it let's use the project manager I'm going to go over here to file project manager one thing you have to make sure of is that when you select the final edit you also have to select all the shots that are nested into that final edit there so now I want to make sure that I pick a folder where I want everything to be collected to in this case I'm going to use the desktop now one important checkbox is this one over here that says exclude on use clips this is usually selected as a default but say I wanted to keep these uh, pictures or assets that I did not use on the edit you could always uncheck that to make sure it gathers everything that's on your project window this can be useful sometimes because if you're handing it off to a different editor and they need to continue to cut with the with different source files from different places you may want to be able to uh, uncheck this so that it gathers everything that's in your project in this case I want to choose exclude on use clips because I know that I'm happy with everything and right now it's just for archiving purposes there's a few other options here that includes audio conform files and preview files and you also have an option to rename media files to match clip names this means that if you have renamed any items in your timeline, the footage is going to get that name once it's transferred to this um, folder inside my desktop. So that's it. I think we're ready to go. I'm going to hit OK now. It's going to tell me that I need to save this project first. So you're just going to click continue. And now it's copying all the media that was used on this edit into a folder on my desktop. Now let's move this out of the way and let's go to our desktop and you can see that here's the folder with the Premiere project and every item that was used in the edit. Let's open it back up. Alright as you can see my edit is intact but one interesting aspect is that there's the rest of the assets that were not included in the edit are not here anymore. That means that it reduced the project correctly and I'm ready to just uh, archive this into a drive to make sure that I have it available if I ever need to go back to it. Alright, and that's how you use the project manager inside Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, just leave a comment below.